Do you want to win battles more efficiently? To quickly improve in the game, we will have deeper look at every unit in the roster, so you can make the best decisions before and during battles. Amendments roster starts with Kushit runners, who will be your cheap flankers and chargers. They are ideal for supporting your flanks and your chariots, as they are great at killing enemy fodder and their chariots. For MMs, you need to bring your frontline and archers first, as these guys will need protection from your missiles. For a frontline fodder, I would use a cheaper unit from a native roster, or I would consider next unit. Nubian Spearmen are weak mid game frontline with one new cool feature. It has pocket slings. You have a fodder and skirmisher in one unit, so we will be using them exactly for this for eating enemy arrows and shooting stones, so you use them for maximum efficiency. I would not use them as a main frontline, but as a skirmisher and anti chariot unit in reserves. Nubian Swordsmen also have pocket slings, but they are even worse frontline, they have worse shield and no advantage compared to Nubian Spearmen, so I don't recommend bringing them. Kushite Royal Guard is your core frontline for mid game and even for late game. A must have unit for MNMS as these guys perform well, but don't expect them to beat other tier 5 or 6 units. Kushite Archer Militia are cost efficient archers, you will always get value from them. Thanks to their fast speed, you can reposition them easily on the battlefield and even outmaneuver your opponents. Nubian Slingers are good against missiles and that is their purpose. Don't be afraid to throw them into skirmish duels, so your archers can focus on more important targets. Nubian mercenary bowmen deal a lot of damage over time. On the other hand, they are quite squishy, so you need to protect them with other units. Kushit armor archers are expensive but powerful damage dealer. Be sure to avoid shields and protect them as best as you can. They have small shields, uh, which makes them very good at skirmishing, but they are not cost efficient enough to do so. If cost is not a problem for you, then yeah, go ahead and use them aggressively to win battles. On the other hand, Tasseti Longbowmen are your long range alternative, much safer way of dealing tons of damage. You must either outrange your enemy missiles or avoid any missile skirmishing with them as it would be a big waste of their ammunition and HP. In theory, they can fight chariots with their own spear, but I would recommend protecting them with your spear infantry instead. Nubian chariots are chariots made for long-range skirmishing. You should keep a safe distance with them and only charge very weak targets, because their charge bonus is rather small. I would use them for deleting routed enemies as they are very light and fast chariot and they can go through any terrain quite easily. On the other hand, Kushite chariots are versatile and better because they can charge into enemies and pull back quickly. I would use them as a melee chariot but only against isolated and injured units. So, this was the last unit of the roster and if you want to see it in action or even more reviews, then please subscribe so the algorithm will show good stuff that I've prepared for you. That is all and see you later.